Brute Flute offers amazing sonic flexibility to anyone from film score composers, music producers, and even sound designers. We captured these performances in exceptional detail across multiple mic perspectives on the tri scoring stage. This allows you to find the perfect balance using traditional film score perspectives, including close mono, close stereo, mid, far, and a separate dedicated combined mix. For those of you who have used our previous instruments such as Super Bowl and Abstract, you'll be familiar with our layout of the interface and some of the tools that are available to further shape the sound. We carefully designed it so that at any one time you have access to a combination of two pages. This can be opened by clicking dedicated page tabs, global and mix on the left, and envelope and effects on the right. Now let's have a look at the interface in more detail. In the global tab, the proximity fader smoothly moves between the four main positions, close mono, close stereo, mid and far. The tune determines the tuning of the samples, the slider moves in the increments of a semitone. If Alt on Windows and Option on Mac is held, you can select a value in Sense, and Command click returns it to its original state. Expression controls the instrument volume. Next is the velocity switch. It toggles between the velocity defined dynamic layers and manually specified dynamic layers. If set to the first one, then dynamic layer is determined by the intensity at which you strike the key. If set to the manually specified dynamic layers, then the dynamic layer is determined by the position of the slider, which by default is controlled via mod wheel. Then we have stereo width. This can be used to widen the stereo field or completely fold down to mono. Blur adds some blur and roundness to the sound, and gloss adds some bite and air. Next up, Mix tab. Here you have all the perspective faders. These control the level of each mic set perspective. Changing the value on the proximity fader will affect the positions of the perspective faders, but not vice versa. RAM switch allows you to choose either to load all samples or load only required samples. If active, only the necessary samples are loaded. This is defined by the proximity and the individual mic position faders. If inactive, then all samples are always loaded. Now let's cover the right portion of the tabs. First, the envelope tab. It includes amp, filter, and pitch ADSRs. Apart from a more traditional amp ADSR, you can use filter ADSR to control filter behavior upon each keystroke. For example, with the help of the filter envelope, you can determine the time for filter to open when you hit the key and the time at which it will close after you release the key. You can also experiment with the pitch ADSR. It can be used to control samples pitch upon each keystroke. Here you can also link amp and filter envelopes. If active, changes to the filter controls will be mirrored by the amp controls and vice versa. And lastly, the effects page. The effects page features a compact set of controls to shape and transform your sounds. Here you have a filter that contains three independent filters that can be used at the same time. Low pass, band pass, and high pass. When on, filter button will light up. To access filter settings, click on the type of filter you would like to adjust. We also have a tape saturator. Multiple saturation types are available, but only one is active at a time. The grade effect is switched off if the knob is turned all the way to the left, and it automatically switches on as the knob is turned right. Next is a convolution reverb, covering vast array of designed, experimental, and natural spaces. We also have got a delay, and here the delay free sync toggle button toggles the delay time parameter units between milliseconds and beats. If set to beats, then the time parameter is displayed in beats and synced to the host tempo. And last effect on this tab is the traditional chorus. And there you have it, Brute Flute Extended Techniques. As you can see, there is such an amazing variety of sounds within this library. We really hope you enjoy using it. And if you really like this library, stay tuned for Brute Flute Legato, which is coming out next. Thanks for watching.